Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be planning out the week of December 30th to January 5th. I have here in front of me my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the binder, colorful version. If you are new to my channel, I love the binder. I really love the fact that I can take my pages out, set my binder aside, and then be able to work on my pages without all of the extra bulk. My desk is a hot mess right now. I'm kind of in the middle of changing some things around. So it is definitely nice that I can just take my pages out. So the kit that I'm going to be using this week is the Planner Cake Kit 200. I have sheet C, add on... S, which is the appointment labels. Now, decorative half boxes and quarter boxes, I guess. I can't remember what that one's called, actually. Um, then I have the date covers. Thin washi, which is add-on P. Thick washi, which is add-on O, I guess. And sidebar, which is add-on R. I also have a bunch of various stickers that I have pulled aside that I know I'm going to use. So let's get to it. I'm going to use this white hexagon. I did get another sheet of these. They are sheet 1073 if you're interested. I like to use those to cover that up just because I don't have to use so much white out. If you guys have been around my channel for a little bit, you know how much I love it when this happens. So let's go ahead and just cover that right up and be done with it. This is kind of a interesting week around here. It's a little bit busy, but not super busy, so we will just see how the week goes. I've been trying to figure out when I'm going to take down my Christmas decorations. I kind of sort of want to do it now, but my husband hasn't been home to open his presents yet, so I kind of want to leave the tree for him so it at least seems a little bit like Christmas when he comes home this week and gets to open his presents, but I don't know. How about you guys? Have you taken Christmas down and out of your house yet? Or are you enjoying it for a little bit longer? There have been years when I have taken it down like the day after Christmas. I think one year when we lived in Georgia, we had a real treat and we put it up like, I want to say the day after Thanksgiving. So by the time Christmas came around, it was so stinking dry that if you even touched the branch, needles fell off. So that actually came down Christmas night. I remember that my parents were visiting that year. So that was kind of different. I haven't done that since then, but I have done that before. So, and then we're going to be gone this weekend right here. So pretty much if I don't take the tree down and all the de decor like by tomorrow, it's probably not going to happen until the middle of the month. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I need to ask the kids what they want to do. I think that most of them will, pro one of them will not care and the other two will say, no, don't take it down yet. Please leave it. So we'll see. All right, so there is that. Set these aside. I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and use this up here. I might do that. Then I'll have to move this down a little bit. Hopefully I do not regret the decision to peel that sticker up because sometimes they end up not sticking that great for me. I don't know if it's just because we live in such a dry climate, but 
sometimes they peel up on me. Let's trim this. And then do the same to the other side. I still can't believe like it's 2020, like it's fixing to be 2020. Like I don't even know how that happened. So I have some big, big, big goals for 2020. I will be sharing my 2020 planner setup for my budget planner. I've been working on those pages. I'm hoping to have it ready to share with you guys soon. And then I will also be sharing what my goals are going to be for the year. I just need to finish fine tuning that just a little bit. And then I'll be ready to share that with you guys. Okay, there's that. I think I need to do maybe this light color right here to break this up a little bit. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to continue writing my Instagram posts in my life planner because I'm going to be using a content planner at some point if I can decide exactly what I want to use for a content planner. Every time I think I have it figured out, I'm like, nah, I don't like this. And I try something else and I'm like, no, this is not working either. So I have a couple of ideas. Um, we'll just have to see. I really like the deluxe monthly for a content planner, but I just don't I like it, but I don't love it, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm looking for something with a little more portability. So we shall see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the sidebar. <clears throat> I have not been very consistent in using my habit trackers and whatnot, but I'm just going to go with it and I'm just going to continue to do it and then if I just find out okay this is just a number one it's a waste of time and number two it's a waste of space then I just need to just give it up and not do it anymore but for this week I'm going to at least put it down and we'll see how I do there's my to do's So this is one change that I'm noticing is that the sticker that comes on the sidebar is wider than these. Hmm. I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm assuming you probably do that Kate reformatted her kits for 2020. So things were a little different than they were. Okay, there's the sidebar. The other thing that I should do is mark off my dinner time spot. I think I'll do, well, let's go ahead and do the five o'clock spot. We never eat dinner at five. If I feed my family dinner at five, then they want second dinner at eight. I don't know if you guys have kids like that, but that's how mine are. So I pretty much need to feed them at like 6.30. Okay. So there's that. So let's get right to planning the week. So tomorrow is a lot of appointments. So these appointment labels were something that I used often. And now there aren't that many of them. 
So Michaela needs to go to the dentist at eight. Lucas has a pediatrician appointment at nine. And then Benjamin has a dentist appointment at 9.15. Michaela has her home health care job at noon. And then I guess I should have put this first because we actually will do this before all of those appointments. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm Liberty will need to shovel in the morning. We did get a little bit of snow, not a terrible amount, but it's been super duper windy, so there are big snow drifts. So I'll just go ahead and put this one down here, and this is mostly just so that I can remember when she's done it to make sure that she gets paid appropriately. Let's go ahead and put these little asterisk stickers down to cover up that time slot. I really just need these so that I can mark off when I have done my Instagram posts. I'm trying to find, well I say I'm trying, but I haven't really looked very hard, um, some type of Instagram scheduler. If you guys know of an app or whatnot that works well for that, Go ahead and let me know which one it is. I would love to hear about it. Next thing I'm going to do is put up the weekend banner. This banner is definitely different. I was wondering what it would look like down there. In some weeks it might be fine, but definitely not this week because of the fact that it's black and that's black. So I think I will just put it right here this time. All right, there is that. I have some new lighting, so you guys will have to let me know if you can tell that I have new lighting now. All right, so now we are going to do Tuesday. Tuesday, I am super excited because my husband gets home from, well, I'm hoping he comes home this night. It's kind of a little bit of a conundrum. He can't leave Juno where he works until 8.30. Well, he could leave a little bit earlier, but that's the first flight out of there when he gets finished with work. Then he flies to Anchorage, and he gets into Anchorage, I think, maybe about 10.30. And the next flight out of Anchorage is 11.50, so it's only 20 minutes. So it wouldn't let me book him on that flight. So I had to book him on the 7 a.m. flight, meaning he'd need to sleep at the airport all night. So he's hopefully going to see if they will let him get on that 1050 flight so he can come home this night. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's see. So the I don't have anything else on Tuesday other than the fact that it is payday. Actually, I think payday is going to be tomorrow. Oops. I didn't actually tear very well. I think it's going to be tomorrow, but I could be wrong. So let's put this over here and then put this little dollar sign right here. Maybe I'm not going to use that payday because, well, there's only one and I need two because we have two paydays this week. So we have one payday for retirement and then one payday for Mike's regular job. So Wednesday the boys are going to see Star Wars with my husband at some point. I imagine it will probably be 
during the day. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this sticker down here if I could get it straight. And then I'll ask Mike what time he wants to go. The boys have both already seen it, but Mike hasn't. And he loves Star Wars. So the boys are going to go with him because I do not like Star Wars. Um, Thursday, we are going to do a family dinner. I think we're going to go out. It is Benjamin's last night home with us. I'm so sad about that. His time at home just went so quickly. And I know that that's just how it goes, but I'm still sad about it. Okay, so here's family dinner. Let's just go ahead and use this black one right here. He wants to go to a local restaurant called Food Factory. They have a burger that he really likes to eat there. So I'm going to put this right here. And then let me go ahead and put in one of these movie nights right here. The only other thing I need to worry about marking on Thursday is Ben has to go to the orthodontist. I can't remember exactly what time it is. I'm thinking it is in the morning. And now we are on to Friday, which I actually don't have any place to go on Friday. So I'm going to mark this planner time. So hopefully I can get some stuff done then. So at some point this week, I may need to add um, another appointment or two. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what the pediatrician says in the morning when Lucas goes. Um, he, he probably is going to have to have an MRI, and it will be a sedated MRI. So I don't know if that will be this week. Maybe not since it's a holiday week, but we'll just go from there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to add is the road trip sticker. Let me add the sticker right here because I do need to bring Benjamin to the airport even though I don't want to. Okay, now the road trip sticker. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, so we are heading to Alaska to go skiing. We are going to leave on Saturday and spend the night in Anchorage and then drive to, it's like maybe another 45 minutes to an hour to Alaska, but we're going to do that on Sunday and then we're going to spend two nights there. So that is going to be fun. I cannot wait. I love to go to Alaska. I don't know how much I'm going to actually ski because we'll have Lucas, but that is okay. The next thing I want to add is um, Benjamin has a hockey game and I will probably watch this game while everybody, well, actually we probably will be there. I was going to say I might just watch it as we're driving, but hopefully we will already be there by then. I don't really have any good colors that match this kit. So I'm just going to use red because that is the color of his jersey. And then Sunday, we are going to go out to breakfast. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to try and get a reservation. We probably actually won't go until like noon because that's how long it will take for everybody to get up and get ready, but it's all good. We'll call it brunch. All right, and that is all that I really need to mark, I think. So I can put this little doctor icon there. Put this little TV icon here.
Oh, I do have one more thing. We're going to go to fireworks at eight. You know, us Alaskans, we love fireworks in the winter. And then I guess I could probably use one of these just to mark that we will be gone. All right. So there's the, the nitty gritty of the week. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and add a few extra things, such as, let's see, let's do a clean fridge. Let's do that on Friday. I do have a house sitter coming to the house to take care of the dogs and all of that. So I need to clean the fridge to make sure that there's nothing yucky in there. And then also I need to go grocery shopping. We will take some foods to, um, Alaska with us because it's really expensive to eat all your meals there. So we'll take some with us, and then I also need to make sure I have some food here at the house for the house sitter. I love that little grocery girl. She's so stinking cute. So there's that. I should also probably make sure I do a quick... sweep through of just cleaning the floors. And the nice thing about that is Mike will be home to help me just do um, clean the floors and just do a general pickup for the house sitter. Make sure that all of the stuff that the dogs chew, if they are bored, gets put away, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and use one of these little corner paydays. I know they're not really for the hourly planner, but I only have one of these payday stickers, so we'll put this here. I should probably go ahead and mark a budget meeting with my husband. Mark that here just to make sure that everything is taken care of and we are on the same page for spending money for our trip. And then I am gonna go ahead and mark a couple of workouts. I can probably go, I need to get back into my walking. I've kind of not done that great of a job. Let's do Sunday. Maybe I can run down and do 30 minutes on the treadmill on Sunday. And then mm, let's aim for Thursday. And then if it doesn't happen on Thursday and it, it doesn't happen until Friday or whatever, no big deal at all. I'm going to do knife and fork. I am almost out. This is like my second sheet <laughs> and that I have used almost completely. It's so satisfying when you use a sheet completely, isn't it? I still have a few things that Benjamin wants me to cook before he leaves. That's not sticking down very nicely. There's that. And then I do believe that's it. I was thinking about maybe seeing if some friends of ours wanted to go out to dinner 
on Friday evening that we haven't seen in a while. So maybe I will put that right here and that will be a reminder to me that I need to go ahead and give her a call. I'm also going to put laundry day, I'll put this right here. And then we'll do this little clean house on Friday. So I do have links to all of these Erin Condren products that I have used down below. There are the links that I have down below are affiliate links. I also have a referral link which will get you a $10 coupon in your email to use off your first Erin Condren purchase. It also does give me a $10 credit at Erin Condren. So I do appreciate it if you use that link. And I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys this time. So thank you so much for watching my plan with me. I do appreciate the support that I have gotten from you guys tremendously. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please do give this video a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below if you have any questions for me or just any comments whatsoever. I would be happy to hear them. So after I was done filming this video last night, I remembered that I had all of this Once More With Love stuff that I got from Michaels. And I was like, why did I not go through those sticker books and see if there were any of the little, I don't really know what they call these people, like the munchkin guys, or I just call them the emoji guys, but I don't know. If they have an official name, go ahead and leave me a comment down below so that I know and I don't mess it up the next time. So anyways, I added this little, let me zoom you in a little bit. Okay. I added this cute little girl with the dollar sign for payday. I added this little girl eating the hamburger since we are going out for dinner that night. This is adorable for date night. These are actually hooked together, so it's one sticker. I use this little pencil for planner time, and I added this must-have coffee sticker since we will be on a road trip, and we will definitely have to get coffee along the way. Except, who am I kidding? There's, like, no coffee stands for probably 100 miles, and then over 100 miles after that. So that's really it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.